Welcome back. The federal government's plan to embrace nanotechnology for socioeconomic development as part of its Economic Recovery Growth Plan 2020 is laudable and a step in the right direction. This was disclosed by Dr. Emeka Okwosa, Chairman Oil Serve Group, during the third African Nano Conference at the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, Enugu State. In his open speech, the managing director of Oil Serve Nigeria Limited, Engineer Mecca Okwosa, stated that Oil Serve Limited, being the major sponsor of nanotechnology research group, has been strongly committed to the progress of the group since the first conference that was held in the year 2014. He went further to state that Oil Serve's strong faith in the nanotechnology research group to provide an alternative modern technology that will solve immediate social vices and improve human lives gave them the urge to support the noble and worthy course of the research group. Over the last six years, Oil Serve has been strongly committed to the nanotechnology research group of UNN. Uh, actually, our involvement predates the first conference that was held in 2014. Our abiding faith in the nanotechnology research group to provide an alternative modern technology as a means of solving immediate social problems and improving human life has spurred us into supporting this worthy and noble cause. The application of nanotechnology research findings in our operations in oil and gas sector, especially pipelines and facility uh, engineering uh, business, will facilitate and frame the next stage of development in the industry. Delivering her keynote address, uh, Professor Rose Usoji laid emphasis on the need for the federal government of Nigeria to put in place strong political will, relevant national policies and sustainable funding to aid research and development in the country. There is need for the Nigerian government to put in place strong political will, relevant national policies, and sustained funding for research and development in this country. The university, charged with the responsibility of building future human capital to ensure that our teaming youths are better prepared to effectively tackle the challenges of the world today for a better tomorrow. Current trends in research and development have shown that nanotechnology has emerged as the latest frontier for the exploration of science and the development of new technologies. key motivation for us is basically centered around capacity development and when you talk about capacity development is human capacity development first then the next is philanthropy in trying to build up institutions in trying to help development of science and in trying to make the country better. Uh, University of Nigeria in Soka is one of the institutions I support, but there are other institutions I support also. But Nsoka has shown 
a lot of penchant and uh, put it uh, uh, capacity and disposition towards building up their science and technology base and being able to develop it. So with such ideas like nanotechnology idea, like uh, the new idea being uh, developed now, which is the, the science park being built by uh, UNN, you see that they are pioneering quite a lot and there you have to give kudos also to the Vice Chancellor, Professor Ben uh, Ozurumba. Yeah, he's shown strong leadership. You know. I've had the opportunity to discuss the nano research activities with the Executive Secretary, uh, Engineer Simbi Wabote. And uh, I know he is enthused about it. I know he would like to support it more. And um, I know also that what is being done at NCDMB has really enhanced a lot within the oil and gas industry and beyond. Um, all I am going to keep doing is keep knocking on the door of NCDMB and keep encouraging uh, NCDMB to continue in the right path. Uh, they are doing a lot already. Nano Research Group represents a team of scientists in this university, cutting across different disciplines like physics, chemistry, biology, pharmacy, and others doing research in the nanometer range, that is in the very minute dimension of particles. We have been able to produce quality publications that stand the test of time, that is recognized by the international body, that has what we refer to as thomson Reuters impact factor. Our publications are rated highly, and that is why we are proud that we are producing quality results from the sponsorship of our major sponsor, engineer Emeko Kosa. One of my PhD students, Dan Obi, now in Canada with our research collaborator, when we were looking for a sponsor, he intimated us that we could reach out to engineer Okosa. And so we made a presentation. We had to travel to his office at Potter Court and we presented who we are and what we are doing, and our ambition to grow solid base of scientific research in this university, where our students, future generation, will have the opportunity. Because some of us have traveled abroad, and we saw what they have there. So we want to establish such things here. And that is why we reached out to him with our presentations. And he believed us, and he said he'd give it a try. And since then, he has been supporting us and we are very grateful to him. Every year we call on the government to come and assist in sponsoring research, fundamental research that will materialize into helping the poor people on the streets. Now, we even talk of batteries. We are researching into new batteries that, and even sensors that will help you to sense your house. You know, your house will be protected while you're not there. Now, batteries that, that will power vehicles and then make life easy for us. So we, require, we request the government, not just the government, industrialists, to come and key in into what Okosa is doing for us to help to sponsor research because we want our center to serve the eastern region. As of now, we don't have a functional science lab in the eastern region that can serve all the universities in the east. This is our cry. This is our request.